right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasha'ala, Israel. First on Kala Yahu, Bahashim, Yahu Shah, Bahashim, Raka Kadash, Barkta Yahu, Barkta Yahu Shah, Barkta Yahu, Barkta Yahu Shah. First, I want to give all uh, double honors to the apostles and elders that I set up, set up to oversee the tabernacle of David that was to be raised up in the last day. And um, humble greetings to the Akim and brothers or brothers that's um, teaching his truth and spreading his truth and sincerity. And that's enduring in faith and holding fast to sound doctrine. And I just want to give, uh, bring forth, um, bring forth scriptural uh, edification or exhortation of our walk um, of humility, basically, of because uh, of, this walk is all about being humble. That's what that's what it's all about, you know. And that's how we receive this truth in the first place. Um, but that's being humble. You got to be humble. Nothing, nothing bad can come from with you um, not being humble. I mean, with you being humble, it's like nothing bad. So I just want to get into the um, go to uh, I go to Matthew eighteen eighteen and one. You see this Matthew chapter eighteen verse one. All right, it says, "At the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven?'" And Yahweh called a little child. Caught a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. See, they asked, they asked him, "Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven?" He's he, Yahweh is showing them that we, we must come um, as a little child, man. We understand that a little child soaks soaks up the knowledge. When we, we, we that's what we doing and it's true every, each and every day. We learn it, man. I don't care how many years you've been in. We we learn each and every day in these scriptures, man. Will they be um, spiritual or will they be outside uh, outside books that support the scriptures? You know? So I, I continue reading Matthew chapter 18 verse 3. It said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye should not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. See, that's what it's all about. It's humbling ourselves. We got to remain humble. See and not and not boast while we in this truth. We, we it's quick cut, man. We do have a little knowledge. Um, that's that. Thanks to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. You see, but but without that Rakakadash, that Holy Spirit, man, it would be nothing, man. It would be nothing. Simple as that. You know. Um, let me get uh, more about more on being basically being humble, man. You gotta you gotta um. Tell yourself, man, you don't know nothing, man. A wise man understands he knows nothing. Tell yourself you not you not nothing, man. You like you like shit, man. You nothing, man. You gotta keep growing. You gotta get better and better, man. No no looking back. Uh this is second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen. If my people see we are and that's the first thing, man. We his chosen, man. You definitely gotta humble yourself, man. It's, it's who much is uh giving much is required. You gotta, you gotta keep, you gotta stay on yourself, stay on yourself, man. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, see, we gotta humble. And what do we gotta do to get on uh, to the Most High, man? You gotta first off humble yourself to get to this truth. Pray that you may remain in this truth, man. For, uh, unless you take your, unless you take your spirit and pray that He don't take your spirit. We hope, hope He don't take our spirit, man. You know, or have us go off, man. Which is basically taking our spirit at that. You know, and seek his face, man. Seek through the through the works, man. It's law, statutes, commandments, teaching, study, everything, man. And, and from our wicked ways, repentance, man. And then will I then will I hear from heaven, see, from above, man. And will forgive their sin and heal their land. See? He's gonna see our our land, man, is is corrupted right now. With uh, with the devil, with the devil that the Bible speaks of, man, the fake Jews, man, we destroyed, man, we down bad, man, but it will be restored, man. It's predestined to be restored. You see, all we gotta do is have faith, and that's what, and that's how we gonna, and that's how we gonna get out of here, man, through our faith. You see, of course, you can't have faith without the works. We understand that. Um, let me get uh. Oh, look at the page. I want to get First Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. 
First Thessalonians. This goes also with those words of First Thessalonians four, verse eleven. And that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. You see, see, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta endure in our studies, man. We gotta always re remain humble. You may have a few breakdowns or whatnot, man, but that's still nothing to the next man. We still, it's still, it's still like a competition at the end of the day, condom, you know. It truly is, man. It's like 144,000. So it's reserved spots. You gotta make make your call and election sure. Uh, I think it's 2 Peter uh, 1 and 10. Yeah, I'm gonna read that again. First, first Thessalonians 4 and 11. And that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. See, we gotta we gotta work out our own salvation. It's, it's just our business, man. It's, it's between you and the most high. You see, there's no hiding from him either, man. Between you and the most high. As you study, um, let me get Ecclesiastes. I think we're going to, I think it's going more into that study. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God and be more ready to hear than to give sacrifice of fools for they consider not that they do evil. Right, man. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God and be more ready to hear. This is that part of that humbleness, man. It's not so quick to try to share your precepts, try to try to show what you know. Just be quiet, man. The next man might know more than you, man. Especially the elders. Especially the elders, man. You got to humble down and remain humble. You don't know everything, man. You got to be ready to hear. You don't know what edification they, they might come out with or bring out. You see? You never know, man. Be more ready to hear. That's what, that's what I wanted to, uh, yeah, right. Be more ready to hear, man. We got to work on that, man. We get puffed up, man. Do not get puffed up. Remain humble, man. You don't know. Well, you going to get humble. It's, it's just what it is, man. That's, just, that's just what it is. Let me see if I got it. Hebrews. Hebrews. Hebrews 5 and 12. Um, yeah, Hebrews 5 and 12. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, for which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. See, we got to humble down. We got to sometimes, we got to keep, we got to stay on the milk sometimes, man. Desire the milk. I think that's first Peter 2 and 2, if I'm not mistaken. We got to desire the milk sometimes, man. You think you can get pumped up, man? You think you can handle so much at once, man? Take it slow, man. It's between you and the Most High, man. You study and endure in the faith. You gotta have that. You gotta have that faith, man. That humility, man. It's all about being humble in this walk. You growing each and every day. Uh, I'm about to see if I want to get. Um, oh no, that's not a precept. Oh, let me get Luke. I'm going to Luke. Luke 18 and 4. No, 18. Luke chapter 18, verse 14. Yeah, man, just remain humble, man. Luke chapter 18, verse 14. I tell you, this man went down to his house. Justify rather than the other, for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. See, you when you boasting, man, you gonna get humbled, man, abased, man, you gonna get put below, man. Be little, man. You see, and he that humbled himself. Now, just come on, let me let's get let me get the edification on uh, the etymology um, in Luke. We gotta go. On, we gotta get used to going to these words too, man. When you studying, man, don't underestimate these uh, the etymology of these words. Especially don't let your uh, these false prophets um keep you from going into the etymology. You know. Right, like I said, yeah, a base. 
Strong's G 5013. Right. To Pinao. To Pinao. To Pinao. Right. To make low. Bring low. Word. To humble. See? You're going to get humble, man. Right. To bring low. Be, to get humble, man. To lower the press. See? Right. And then he say and he that humble himself shall be exalted. Cause you remain you you were humble, man. You remain humble, man, and endured in the faith. You see? When we get profit, we go off. Oh, I'm good, man. I done did enough, man. You, you you become complacent when you be profit. When you humble, man, you always like, what can I do? What more can I do? What more can I do, man? It's that fear in you. You see? That's just that fear. And that's good, man. Um uh, I want to get Isaiah 5, Isaiah 5 and 13. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Sorry. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore, my people are going to take into captivity because they have no knowledge. See, that's the first, that's the reason why we in this condition now. Because we wasn't humble, man. We, we, we became prideful. And thought we could just uh serve these uh false gods, man, idols, and live in our uh little uh our vain pleasures. You see? And we got humble, man. We, we you see we humble. You just look outside, man. We are humble, man. We are not living our best life, man. Isaiah 5 and 13, I start over. Therefore, my people are going to captivity because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are fashioned, and their multi multitude dried up in thirst. Dried up with thirst. Right, the multitude, man, our whole nation, man, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You see? Therefore, hell have enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. See, that's that captivity, man. That low state, hell. We are in hell right now. And who is in heaven right now? So-called white man, these other heathen nations. The Arabs ruling over us. The Africans ruling over us. Chinese ruling over us, man. They all in our neighborhoods taking advantage of us, man. It's not It's not rocket science, man. It's right in front of our face. These words are life, man. These, this, the word of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shad is life. It's not rocket science, man. Therefore, hell have enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, and their pulp, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. You see, we got we got happy slaves, man. And the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled. See, that's that pride. You're going to get humble. We all we all was uh, we all had to get humble if, um, for this truth, man. He humbled us, man, through, through the Rakar Kadash, man, that spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We got to remain humble. And the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humble, and the eyes of the lost, lofty shall be humble. You see? How are we going to humble us, man? And he's the reason, um, I might as well get that in Job. The reason we got this understanding in the first place, man. Job, I uh, Job chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-eight. I get Job chapter thirty-two, verse eight. Shalaki. But there is a spirit in man, in the inspiration of the Almighty, giving them an understanding. See, we, we also understand that that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is truly dealing with man. See, the elect, we know the elect is is dealing with the forty-four, well, the one hundred forty-four thousand, and dealing with man. See, but there's a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty giving them understanding. See, he the one, he's the reason we we uh, we understand these scriptures in the first place, man. A lot of people read the entire Bible and understand nothing. Us being this true, you can be in this true six months and understand more than somebody that's been in the church 18 years, 20 years, shoot, 30, 40 years. You feel me? You been in true six months, you know more than them, man. This is how the spirit operates. You see, that's how that's how his calling works. We are our call for your chosen. Electos, man. Electos. That word uh, the etymology of that word chosen. Electos. 
Great men are not always wise, neither do the age understand judgment. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I want to get another precept. It's a lot, it's a lot. I was about to talk about the same thing. Yeah, let me go to the apocrypha. Second Ezra. I guess second Ezra chapter eight. Second Ezra chapter eight, verse forty-nine. Second Ezra chapter eight, verse forty-nine. In that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and has not judged thyself worthy to be glorified among the righteous. See, that's how humble you got to be, man. You be like, I ain't dead enough to be in that one hundred forty-four thousand. I gotta, I gotta pray. Whatever you gotta do to get close to the Most High, do that, man. To close to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Pray and fasting. Whatever you gotta do, works. You gotta do the work. You gotta have the faith to do the works. You know. Second Ezra chapter eight verse forty nine read again. And that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and, and has not judged thyself worthy to be glorified among the righteous. For many great miseries shall be done to them that 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 are that in the later time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. See those great miseries, man. See if you prophet, you can know this truth. Um, but the two thirds are ultimately the ones that's prophet, man. They're the ultimate. They, they don't care about the truth. They know the Israelites. It's a, it's a lot too. Everybody know the Israelites. They admit that. They not taking heed to this truth for real. Man. Two thirds, man. They shall, they shall be brought low, man. A base, man. Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty one. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. See, we gotta seek out. We gotta seek out. And remain humble. Verse fifty two. For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time is to the time to come is prepared, plenteousness is made ready, a city is built, and the rest is allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. See, it's hard to prepare for it, man. We just gotta be humble. And it, it can be it can be tough to be humble, man. It can get tough, man. And we, we we deal with a lot, and it's true, man, in this walk of humility, man. Um I just want to touch on that being humble, man. It's not, it's nothing deep, you know. It could be deep, you know, but uh, I might just want to bring out this last, last precept. Let me get First Peter, First Peter chapter five, verse five. All right, First Peter chapter five, verse five. Likewise, ye younger, see that that's just, that that right there, man. That's that. This is like that child, man. We are, we are not too old in this truth right now, you know. That's why you gotta give double honor to those elders and apostles that endured twenty plus years, twenty five plus years. You see, likewise, ye younger, sit submit yourselves unto the elder. See, this is what I was talking about. Submit yourselves unto the elder, man. We gotta be taught this truth. He, the Spirit brought us in, man. But it's up to us to re remain. And, he, and Yahweh gonna have to, ain't gonna handle the rest. You see, and it's predestined anyway. So we don't, we don't, we ain't gonna stress too much, you know. I'll start over first Peter chapter five, verse five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves to the elder. Yeah, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. See, it's all about being humble. It's all about being clothed in it, man. It's, it's like it's like the law says commandments on you, man. That humbleness is on you. And people can feel that, man. Nothing, nothing evil is gonna come upon you with that, with you being humble. Just walk in humility. For God resisted, resisted the proud and giving grace to the humble. You see, we on the grace right now, man. This, this is our chance, man. This is our chance to get right. This is our opportunity. Take advantage, man. Take advantage of uh what our, uh, what our forefathers um transgressed and what we transgressed, man. We are like fifty rags. You see. We ain't got no trust but to be humble. We he he can take this, he can take it from you um in the snap of a finger, man. And also slowly but surely. Not holding fast and sound, doctrine or whatnot. Whatever the case may be. You know. I'll read that again. Oh, I keep going, I keep going, matter of fact. First Peter chapter five or six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the 
under the mighty hand of, of, of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. So I say, casting all your care for him, man. We this is we do it for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot, man. Yahweh was first, man. You see, cast all your care upon him, for he cared for you. That he may show his his grace in that time. You see? And you know his grace is only for the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. Hebrew Israelites. Simple as that. You know. And this is um that I just want to bring that quick lesson on uh the walk of humility. And this is uh Brother Shamak. You see. And I hope uh, I want um, all the nation, um, the awakened Israelites, you see, to endure in this truth, man. Keep the faith with the works, law, such as commandments, studying, teaching, building, whatever the case may be. And hopefully we get out of here soon, man. Shalom.